Hey YouTube, I am back in my room here and I am going to sh talk about a BB gun, CO2 powered BB gun. It takes 4.5 millimeter BBs. I use copper heads, the little steel BBs are not all that big. And CO2 tanks here, just little, just little aluminum ones here. See one of these is what it takes. I should have put that. <laughs> Ugh. Putting a putting one bag is a pain in the butt. There we go. <laughs> Close that back up. And this here is the gun itself. It's um, Black Ops Wolverine, I think is what it is. You can see the instruction manuals. Yeah, so you can see that. It's, there's the instructions. A little tool. That's not the actual tool, though. Tool, though. That's not the right, right one. Didn't come with it. Um, it has uh, two tactical rails. And um, the reason why there was an Allen wrench in there is because of the top tactical rail. You got a little screw here and another little one back here. This top rail here it can slide on the top of the barrel. The furthest forward it can go is to here. The furthest back is where it is right now. It has iron sights, of course. See right there, see? I haven't sighted it in yet. It is a dual and single action. And the nice thing is too is the um, cylinder drops out. So if you want to, you can play some Russian roulette with your friends. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> Not with this gun. And um, these here are what you put the BBs in. See, there's the BBs right there. You put the BBs in here, and then you drop the barrel, and you can place the rounds inside of it. Like that. Place them in. And just keep going. And the cool thing is, this too is here. There's a little metal rod here in the front of it. And when you push that, it lifts the rounds so you can easily drop them out. Closes. Pull the hammer, fire. The nice thing is too is it's also got a safe too right here. See, now it's on safe. Now you can't pull the trigger. And you push it forward, you can fire. Push it all the way forward, you can drop the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> and now it won't go back in. There we go. It's back in now. And the CO2 actually goes in the handle here. Right there. Got this little screw here. Push it up into a needle that's up in here that punctures this little aluminum foil that's on the front of it that holds all the uh, CO2 in. This is a 410 420 FPS velocity gun. So it don't go pointing it at people unless you absolutely need to. Like if you're protecting yourself at home. I wouldn't carry this around with you anywhere. This thing is a dangerous piece of hardware. It is an 8 inch barrel and the thing is made out of full metal. So this thing is heavy as hell. So yeah. You run out of ammunition, you can use the damn thing as a club. And see, look at this. You can use this thing as a freaking hammer. This thing is a beast. Yeah, that thing is massive, and the ammunition I use is just little copper heads. Not really all that expensive, but more expensive than the cheapest stuff out there. But it's definitely not the most expensive stuff out there. 
see this. There's two little BBs right there. Just a little perspective. They're not real that they're not all that big. Just a little perspective. And they're quite, quite small. So yeah. And stay tuned on my channel for more videos because the next one I'll be doing is a nerf modification and painting video the first it'll be a series of little videos or i shouldn't say little videos probably around eight ten minutes long maybe <laughs> so yeah stay tuned and keep watching if you want to learn how to paint a nerf gun and mod a nerf gun the first video i will be making will be how to take it apart and take out the innards and whatnot I love this thing. This thing is awesome. Gah. And for those of you who have played Ghost, it may look familiar because it is. This is basically the gun from Ghost, like a, or Call of Duty Ghost. This the the one the revolver that's in Ghost is a 44 Magnum. I believe this is a 38 or 44 special or 40. Or, 38 Special or 44 Magnum. I am almost 100% sure that it is a 44 Magnum. I'm not sure though. I, I'm um, I want to say 83% sure that it is a 44 Magnum, but it could be a 38 Special. Not sure. I mean, I'm not even sure if a 38 Special exists, but well, <laughs> just goes to show you how much I know about guns. But this is a handy little piece of hardware to have if you ever need to protect yourself just don't go shooting at people that don't deserve it so please be extremely careful and don't do anything stupid please I beg of you and at some point I will make a video of me firing it just not anytime soon because the um, CO2 shells here they can actually take quite a bit of rounds and I don't have anything really to fire them in except for this but I'm not 100% sure if it'll actually go through though I'm yeah, they might most likely